The level of climate threats that our unique and fragile ecosystems are facing is a concern to us. It is for this reason that we work tirelessly to ensure that we can have sustainable development while maintaining and preserving our strategic natural assets. In 2015, Papua New Guinea adopted the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development to help achieve the country's Vision 2050. Under this agenda, sustainable development goals serve to guide our economic growth, improve our well-being and strengthen our resolve to improve access to basic services for all our people. The SDGs are incorporated into Papua New Guinea's Medium Term Development Plan 2018 to 2022. Progress on the SDGs has been both good and challenging for the thematic areas of some key sectors. Today, we launched the Roadmap to Successful Delivery of Sustainable Development Goals 13, which focuses on the urgent action needed to combat climate change and its impacts. The SDG 13 30 by 30 Roadmap gives us a common purpose and clarifies the most urgent priorities for action. If we follow this map together, by 2030, we should be able to say PNG has addressed the risks posed by climate change to its people, its ecosystems and its development without a substantial increase in greenhouse gas emissions. The SDG 13 roadmap is designed within our existing national policy settings. It does, however, highlight emerging areas of social and economic or environmental significance. As Managing Director of the Climate Change Development Authority, it has been my pleasure to lead the development of this climate roadmap. It has also been a privilege to work closely with the Department of National Planning and Monitoring and all our good stakeholders from the government agencies, civil society and private sector in its development. I would like to extend my deep gratitude to the United Nations Development Program for the support in the preparation of this 30 by 30 roadmap by the Climate Change and Development Authority. UNDP has been a trusted ally for us and the United Nations community. Other non-governmental organizations and our bilateral partners have played an important role in our successful climate change action to date. I'm urging all UN agencies, partners and accredited entities in countries to support our climate change country program and provide the much needed financial and technical assistance to our national stakeholders. Action is urgent. We have the map and we know where we are going. I ask you to join us on the journey. Thank you. It is truly a pleasure to be part of this launch. I would like to start by congratulating the Climate Change and Development Authority and the government on the launch of the Climate Change Roadmap. It is a culmination of months of work, a thorough consultative inclusive process, and it sets a benchmark. There are many countries in the world that have undertaken similar initiatives. Many countries are planning for and are implementing climate action. Few have, however, sought to capture a commitment to the Sustainable Development Goals in this way. The United Nations Development Program has been a proud and long-standing partner to Papua New Guinea. And the joint work on the SDG 13 roadmap is an expression of our commitment to supporting government in its fight against climate change. For many around the world, climate change raises fundamental questions of human security and survival. Those hardest hit today are among the world's most vulnerable, many of whom live in developing countries, many of whom are women. Papua New Guinea is no exception to this. I would hazard to say that for Papua New Guinea, there is no greater question of national interest than how to address climate change and to build a sustainable and inclusive future for all. There is little that conveys the growing disruption presented by climate change more than the lived experience of so many. Whether you are a farmer in the highlands or a fisherman in the atolls, I can guarantee that you are experiencing profound changes in the environment around you. Unfortunately, conveying this reality is often lost in global discussions on economic development especially now during this COVID-19 pandemic and ensuing socio-economic crisis. A false dichotomy between sustainable livelihoods and economic development is often created. The impacts of the current crisis, however, will be dwarfed by the socio-economic impacts unchecked climate change presents. 
The COVID-19 pandemic itself is a direct result of increased encroachment, environmental degradation and destruction of natural habitats, bringing us too close to zoonotic diseases such as this virus. There are many reasons why Papua New Guinea has and needs to pursue development, but the type of development we want is a defining question. Climate change does, however, bring into sharp focus the need for change, to orient growth towards greener economic models that are low carbon, resource efficient and socially inclusive. It brings into sharp focus the urgency of applying sustainable development as a first principle to achieving growth, as unsustainable development erodes the very basis on which all our wealth is built, natural resources. This is the challenge that Papua New Guinea now faces. But with every challenge comes opportunity. The Sustainable Development Goals are a blueprint for achieving a better and more sustainable future for all. They address the global challenges everyone faces. The United Nations Development Programme has proudly supported the government of Papua New Guinea in the preparation of its climate change roadmap. The roadmap highlights the importance of all partners, government, communities, civil society, development partners and the private sector in coming together to drive climate action. It recognizes that partnerships foster innovation. The importance of tackling the impacts of climate change cannot be understated. Papua New Guinea has been vocal on this for many years. It has often led global initiatives. Papua New Guinea was a founding member of the Red Initiative that recognizes the importance of forests as a major asset to mitigate global greenhouse gas emissions. Papua New Guinea was the world's first country to submit its nationally determined contributions under the 2015 Paris Agreement. The roadmap will serve the government's efforts to better define its so-called nationally determined contribution and its current efforts to revise them is another initiative that UNDP is proudly supporting as a major partner. Such efforts represent an ongoing commitment, not only to international agreements, but measuring efforts on climate action. Looking forward to 2030, I take this opportunity to reiterate UNDP's commitment to support Papua New Guinea and this endeavor. Thank you very much. Thank you.